This is the fourth section of chapter two on graphs and networks. And here we're going to be looking at how we can represent graphs and networks using matrices. Now there are two types of matrices that we can use. One is called an adjacency matrix and the other a distance matrix. Now in an adjacency matrix, we list the vertices along the top and along the side. And in these cells, we're going to write down the number of edges between these vertices. So for example, let's say there were, let's say between um, edge B and C, there were two edges. So that's what that number there represents. So that's two edges between, or two arcs between uh, vertices B and C. Now, unless there's a loop, this leading diagonal here would be zero. So you'd have zeros along this diagonal here. But if there was a loop, so let's say that we had um, a vertex E and we had an edge that went like that. So between edge uh, E in itself, there would be two edges. So we'd write down two in here. So that would represent something like that. So that's an adjacency matrix. Now in a distance matrix, the numbers in the cells represent the weight of the arc or edge between two vertices. So for example, if I had um, a vertex A here, B, C, like this, A, B, C, and I had some weight on them. So let's say 12 there and 14 here, for example. Then between A and B, I'd write 12. So I'd write 12 here, and I'd also write 12 there because it, it's the same whichever way I go, it's still 12. And between B and C, it would be uh, 14. So I'd have 14 here, and I'd have 14 here. So you can see it sort of looks symmetrical. Now, there's no distance between a vertex and itself. So we put like a dash, so there's always going to be dashes here along this leading diagonal in the same way that, you know, unless there's a loop, we get zeros here. This is always going to be dashes. And anywhere in the grid or on your um, network here where you find there isn't a distance between two vertices, we'll put a dash. So we put a dash in the cell and just put there is no weight or distance between the two vertices. Now you should be able to um, take a graph and complete a table, an adjacency matrix from its from the graph. You should also be able to, if you're given an adjacency matrix, construct a graph from it. Now the same can't be true of a distance matrix. You can't construct a graph just from a distance matrix because you don't know the number of edges there are between different vertices. But one thing we can say is that if the graph is not directed, if it's a graph that's not directed, then our table here should be symmetrical about the lead and diagonal, symmetrical about leading diagonal. So that will sort of help us decide whether we filled in the table correct or not. So we're going to use an adjacency matrix to represent this graph. So the first thing that we do is we write down the um, edges. We're going to start with edge A. Now there's nothing between A and itself. There's only one edge between A and B, and there's no edges between A and anything else. I'll do the same in this column here, um, because it's gonna be the same the other way. So I'll just fill that in. Okay, we'll now move on to edge B. So we've already filled in the one that's between A and B already. There's nothing between uh, B and itself. Between B and C, there's one. 
Between B and D, there's none. Between B and E, there are two edges between B and E. You see these ones, the curved one and the straight one. And between B and F, there's one. OK, so let's move on now to C. And at the same time, we can take this information and write it in this column down here. So um, that would be 1 dash 2 1. So when we get to corner C, now there's nothing between C and itself, between C and D1, between C and E1, and between C and F none. Moving on now to D. Right, and also filling in this column, or sorry, this row in this column. So we'll have one, one dash. So between D and itself, uh, none. D and E, none. Between D and F, one. So dash one. Now we're on to E. So E here. Right. So n nothing between E and itself. Um, between E and F, there's one. So that's going to be a one there. So we're just left straight now to F. All the other connections have been filled in. The only thing is between F and itself, there's a loop. So there's two. So whenever we get um, a number two anywhere along here, it indicates a loop. So we'll just put that down. So two um, along this diagonal indicates a loop. Okay, so this question now is a distance matrix. So we put the um, vertices along the top, A, B, C, D, E, the same along the side. And now we look at the distance between different vertices. So we'll start with A. So um, A to B is 17. So there's nothing between any of the vertices and themselves. There's no distance. So they can all be dashes there. A and from A to B is 17. And uh, A to C is 18. There is no distance or direct distance from A to D or A to E. All right, let's move on to B. So A to B, we've already done, that's the 17. Now, just like before, we can fill in this column as well. That's because it's not directed. When we've got uh, directions on here, arrows on here, we won't be able to do this. Yeah, we'll have to do just each row separately. So B to C is 15. So we'll fill that in. So 15. So you can put 15 here. B to D is 19. So 19, 19. And then B to E, 23. 23, 23 there, then we move on to C, which is here, now C to D, that's going to be 20, C to E, nothing there, so 20, nothing there, we've only got a couple more cells to fill in, D to E, is what we're going to fill in. So um, you just have a look. D to E is 16. That's going to be 16 there. There we go. It's completed. So if your graph isn't directed, then this will be symmetrical. I think we mentioned it at the start, but we'll, we'll mention it now. That will save time. So in a non-directed graph, graph, the distance matrix. The distance matrix will be symmetrical along the leading diagonal, along the leading diagonal. So that is uh, this line here. 
and you can see that there's all dashes along that line as well but it's symmetrical isn't it um, that's the line of symmetry okay so this time we're doing a distance matrix but the network is directed not all of the edges are directed only some of them so we'll put the letters in first okay so straight away we can put dashes here because in a distance network there's going to be no distance between an edge and itself that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be symmetrical and you're going to see this in a moment so let's start with r and see what distances we have so r to s is 4 and s to r is also 4 because that edge isn't directed r to t is 11 and uh, t to r is also 11 uh, because there's no direction there there is no edge or distance direct um, uh, distance to u v or w so we'll put dashes there like that right let's move on to s that'll be the next one that we do s so s and t that will just be dash s and u that will be nine and um s the other way around will also be nine because it's not directed s to v um is going to be dash and this and 10 to w so dash 10 next edge we're going to look at is or vertex we're going to look at is t here so t to r is all already done t to u is 8 u to t is also 8 t to v well, there's no direct route or to w so they're going to be dashes next vertex is going to be u now here we've got some directed edges so i need to watch out for this so u to v is 6 u to v is 6 however going the other way v to u is 7 so we can't have the same numbers in both this is where the symmetry changes because it's not the same going either way and then there's no root from u to w either way and then the last ones we've got to fill in is v to w now going from v to w can't be done v to w so the way i've got this set up is that this is this column represents the starting vertex and this row represents where i'm finishing the finished vertex so because this is directed i cannot go from v to w even though it says nine there i have to go that way so i've got to put a dash whereas if i go from w to v i can go that way and there's a nine there you should now be able to do exercise 2d on pages 42 to 43. so a quick recap um you need to know how to construct an adjacency matrix and how to use an adjacency matrix to construct a graph uh, adjacency matrix is always symmetrical and a two on a leading diagonal indicates a loop with a distance matrix this will only be symmetrical on a non-directed network